Before I forget, um, customizing your bike is nice and all, but if you don't have a before and after to show, then there's not much comparison to do, right? I'm not gonna say it's gonna be brand new because I believe it already has 21,000 kilometers on it right now. Um, but it, it's gonna be looking, looking new. The bike is gonna be disassembled three to four weeks. But after that, oh, oh I'm gonna be adventuring on, yeah. <laughs> what the thing? Hello! What a timing! What a fucker here! <laughs> so I'm currently on my way back to Dugati Amsterdam. Most of the parts are coming off, so it's gonna be a, a little bit of a naked bike. I am also very curious what they already took off. So I have no idea what I'm getting into uh, when I arrive in like 15 minutes, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. When I arrived at Ducati Amsterdam, she was still in one piece. While Peter was getting ready to disassemble everything, I walked around and drooled over all the spectacular bikes in the showroom. Many were waiting to be picked up by their new owners. It's always a warm welcome entering the shop and seeing the team. I could watch everything happen in the Ducati motorcycle reception, as they call it, which was kind of confiscated for my project. It's perfect for when clients want to see some workshop action up close or when the team has a special project that they're working on. I did help here and there, but Peter took care of most of the work. So we're slowly getting to the good part, but it's also kind of modern torture. I have to wait four weeks to hear it. This whole big chunk of metal is done. And I have some shiny new parts on there, so uh, yeah, worth the hassle. With having a naked version of my bike in front of me, I could clean some otherwise difficult accessible parts, and we already installed some accessories. There it is, the whole bike. <laughs> Such a weird thing to see, being stripped down like this. On my way to the painter and the wrapper today they're gonna take care of all the parts I have in the back here and then yeah it just finally hit me that I just have like zero parts at my place anymore and the rest is at Ducati Amsterdam and after that it's gonna be a few weeks of waiting for me but uh, yeah I, uh, I'm just so stoked to finally see this go as well Dennis has a workshop at home and he does all kinds of custom stuff like helmets, bikes, special artwork, you name it. All right. On our way to the paint shop to be able to pick the right color. 
turns out that the painter Dennis is actually also one of the instructors of motor courses uh, with which I followed a few courses in the past and it's pure coincidence that he opened up the door so that's really cool right next stop Philip foil projects He's a jack of all trades, customizing cars, motorcycles, kitchens, boats, even interiors. He has a color for every occasion and he also does signing and lettering. He took care of my panniers, windscreen and some details on my bike, which you'll see in the end result. Making it look easy. Devil is in the detail. Um, so now I'm heading home and I'm gonna wait and see. And then, uh, yeah, when I get the call that everything is ready, I'll be uh, more than happy to ride back. Ciao! I'm extremely biased with the results and I mean it turned out better than I would ever have expected. To have an idea in your head is like one thing but to, to see it become reality is another and I am so stoked with the results. The striping on the tank is actually a tribute to my monster. For those who have been following me know I have the monster with the striping. So the Desert X coming out with that striping was meant to be and I really think the sand color complements the black details a lot. I wanted to keep it clean but also a little bit industrial and yeah true to my style I would say so I added some nice touches of dot work here and there and I really think it complements the round headlights of the bike now this is the only thing I dislike that my Termioni system is almost completely hidden behind the pannier rack it's just it's finished now it's finally finished. I had this idea from the moment I ordered it. I knew I wanted to, do, to make it my own again and um, I am very pleased with the results. It has been disassembled for six weeks. Yeah, six weeks in total, which is a very, very, very long time for me to not ride. Luckily, I had some trips to the Canary Islands in between to ride the Desert X there, but Nothing beats your own bike and I am so stoked to have it back and I'm really looking forward to being on a new adventure anytime soon. I have some plans, I don't know if it's doable this year, but Iceland and Faroe Islands are there. So thanks to all the lovely people that helped me with this project. Um, I, I have no words, but thank you for all the hard work you've put in and making my idea come to life. And yeah, now it's time to get going. I'm really looking forward to this season. So uh, stay tuned, um, follow me on Instagram as well if you want to have a little bit more real time <laughs> content uh, and updates. And um, I really hope you like this video. Please leave a comment, give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.